Today's sudden announcement of a bipartisan budget deal will translate to a lot of money being returned to Minnesota taxpayers. We have a, a, about a billion dollars of tax relief uh, and that everything from paycheck protection, the unemployment uh, benefits, we're not going to tax those either. That's right. After months of uncertainty, most Minnesotans who paid state taxes on unemployment benefits and all Minnesota businesses who paid taxes on forgiven PPP loans will have that money returned to conform with federal tax code. With today being tax day, the full conformity around the PPP loans and the full conformity around the UI insurance um, gives Minnesotans the certainty they need. It'll be good to have some clarity around everything. Do you wish you would have gotten that clarity a couple of months ago? <laughs> Better late than never is what my mother has always said, so I'm not complaining. Tax professional Ann Edder says many of her clients have either paid the state taxes on their unemployment benefits already, or it's being deducted today. But if you make less than $150,000, she says you can now expect the state to return the taxes collected on the first $10,200 you receive. Yeah, it will be a little while. But if you're due the money back, which many people will be due that back, then they can expect to see a check at some point in the future. I always tell people just we in Minnesota will fix it. It's the same with the PPP loan. Justin Sunberg works mainly with small businesses. And while many had to pay state taxes on their PPP money, all of it will now be returned. How big of a deal is this for some of your clients? That's a very big deal because the PPP can be tens of thousands of dollars and all of a sudden, when you have tens of thousands of dollars not taxed by Minnesota, that's a windfall. But keep in mind, the legislature still needs to officially sign off, which won't come until early June. And then the Department of Revenue will need to figure out if it can simply pay the money back or if you'll need to file an amended return. The work is, I would say it's not done, it just began. And now we have clear guidance about where to go. I know that that's super, super difficult because we want our money back right away. We want to have everything wrapped up and tied neatly with a bow. And I think that's pretty impossible this year. And the state should let you know what you're going to need to do, correct? Yes, yes. Uh, if you are getting a refund automatically from the state, they'll send you a letter and a check. If it's something where they're going to make a determination that, oh, everybody has to amend, I think you'll see it in the news. We'll try our best. <laughs> Good. We certainly will. Now, obviously this can be a little bit confusing, especially with all of these last minute changes. And Anne said that's the same for tax professionals. And unfortunately, it doesn't look a whole lot better for next year because of course the last stimulus payment, well, that came this year in 2021, that has to be accounted for. And then there's the child care tax credit. Jana. Sorry, I'm still thinking about everyone doing an amended tax return, and it sounds like 0% fun. But to your point about the child tax credit, we're going to talk about that in just like 25 seconds. But Kent, did they have any advice, especially from the personal tax preparer, for people if they think they're going to need an expert next year with all those changes? Should they make that appointment now? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, not a good day. Not a good day to be calling someone for next year. Uh, they're going to be busy for at least the next couple of months. Anne said a really good time would be late summer, early fall, because it'll give them a little bit better chance of understanding where things are going. And by the way, Jana, the hope, of course, is from the Department of Revenue that we won't have to all file amended returns, that they will figure out, figure out a way to just send us a check. That sounds good. You know, you're a glass half full. I'm half empty over here in the <laughs> studio, so I just had to mull with that for a moment. Thank you so much, Kent.